Good morning everybody. Uh, it's currently 4.23 a.m. and I'm here getting Brian's lunch slash dinner already. Uh, yeah, he's going on a trip today and well not, yeah, a trip? Yeah, a trip. Um, and I'm actually not going. So this would be the first time that we've been apart since me coming here to the US. So yeah, unfortunately, you know, parent things, one of us has to stay here with BJ. So this is a new experience for us. Yeah, so just getting everything ready so he can go to work. Um, we were like working late last night, um, working on videos and stuff like that. So I know he's tired, but yeah, just trying to help out. Here's the working man. Yeah. <laughs> Getting his coffee ready. Mm -hmm. Lunches all packed. Now he's ready to leave me. I'm not. <laughs> I'm supposed to be coming with you. I know. Yeah. Yeah, so one of us gotta stay with BJ. Mm -hmm. You're gonna um, miss me? I am. I haven't done a trip without you. Since, Since I've been here. been here, yeah, this is your first time. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna be here. Yeah, so new experience for us, and first time you guys get to see it too. <laughs> you gotta go, guys. You gotta go. Mm -hmm. Have a good trip. Yeah. You want me to help you? Please. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I've made it to work. I'm on the elevator, about to go to the crew room, check in. I don't know what to do with myself. This is my first time doing a trip without Alec in a long time. All right, guys, so I made it on board. It's hot, as you can see. This is the best thing that I could have got or bought or yes. borrowed and never gave back. Yeah, it's a little portable fan comes in clutch anyway uh we're about to start boarding in a minute um yeah i can't believe i'm actually doing a trip without alec but it is what it is um hopefully if i go out i'll get some footage but we'll see what happens. i'll probably just be a slam clicker which is someone who goes in their room slams the door shut and clicks it and does not come out until it's time to report in the morning but we'll see We have landed in Newark, so like one of two is done today. We um, are going to Austin, Texas after this. So we got like a good maybe 10, 15 minutes to just sit down and relax before we board the next passengers. So I guess I'll be waiting until then. So it's been a few hours without Brian so far. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel like I'm normally here by myself in the days, but knowing that he's not coming home tonight, like the bed is not going to feel the same. I feel like, you know, I'm not in a rush to do anything because like I just don't have the energy to do it. <laughs> But I'm here doing what it is that I normally do while I'm here in the days. So I generally prepare dinner for everybody while I'm here. I um, have some laundry doing, packing out the dishwasher right now. Yeah, so I'm just making sure that when he comes home tomorrow, everything is in order. And yeah, I can't wait till him come home. <laughs> Would you, Would you like to know? 
So I'm here getting started on dinner. Um, I'm doing chow mein today because the fact that it's just me and BJ, I know that this is one of BJ's favorite things that I happen to make. And if you guys had like, you know, tuned into our question and answers, you probably would have known that chow mein is like one of my absolute favorite things in the world too. Um, yeah, so since it's just me and BJ chilling today, I said, all right, let me do it. Um, we don't have to fight because it's just two of us and it will be a lot of it. So there will be enough for today and probably some leftovers for tomorrow. But yeah, I think I finally boiled it down as to what exactly feels weird about Brian not being here. And it's because we, this feels like when we were doing distance, you know, it, it's, it, it's a distant memory, but it brings me back to the times when we were doing distance because we've already FaceTimed each other a couple times today. And yeah, I can't tell you when last I've seen a FaceTime call from Brian come up on my phone. So it was just a little bit surreal and brought me back to those times. But very happy that we're not doing this distance thing anymore. Yeah, and I mean, I guess some alone time is good too. Um, or it should be good. So sometimes it's forced, but hey. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and get started on this dinner and show you guys how it comes out. Hopefully I'm gonna mess it up the one time I show it on camera. But yeah, let's let's do this. Okay, so I got everything prepped. I have my noodles. I have my vegetables done, my chicken, some garlic, and I made a sauce here to go on it. So, ooh, now we're ready to cook. So I'll have that out the way, done, and I can enjoy the rest of my night. done i have made it to my layover um i don't know if y'all can see my view but this is austin texas um flight was good didn't have any issues um i miss alec though but we're not gonna talk about that i'm gonna do what he does and give you guys a room tour hopefully i can get it together like he can all right so we'll start from the front door Right. So this is the bed. This is the bathroom. Pretty standard, nothing special. The tub. It's me again. And that's the closet. So I'm gonna hang my clothes. And this is the view that you guys we're seeing just a minute ago so it's pretty cool um austin looks like a really nice city like it's i hear it's a lot to get into but unfortunately this trip i won't be getting into anything i actually need to like edit a whole lot of videos as you guys know we have this um on star partnership so you know things are actually working so i'm gonna be working on some of that and then the vlog and then other things we gotta do. So this isn't a pleasure trip, unfortunately, but we're gonna get things done. See y'all in a bit. <laughs> you good? All right, guys, I'm done with editing these TikToks and videos and all of that. It took me about four hours to do it, but I got it done. Um, I ate dinner already. 
I'm starting to feel like I'm coming down with something. Hope I hope I'm not. But yeah, my day is done. I'm going to take a shower, get into bed, and get up in the morning to go back home. Um, my show time is at four thirty. My van time is at four thirty. My show time is at five ten. So it's gonna be a short night for me. But I hope I didn't bore y'all too bad today. I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Good morning, Mass Gang. All right, so it is 4.13. I am about to head down to the lobby because <clears throat> it's time to go. Good flight. This is what you call hurricane traffic. All right, so there's been a turn of events. Apparently there is a hurricane, Hurricane Ian, Ian, Ian. Yeah, he's coming to uh, Florida and I'm trying to get home to be able to get some stuff for, um, you know, to have just in case you lose power, like snacks and perishables or non-perishables or whatever it's called but um i can't get there i've been in traffic for like the last 30 minutes trying to get home and i still have about a good 20 minutes ago so i'm hoping that we can get there before everything is closed yeah it's gonna get crazy bj's already his school's already been canceled for the next three days so yeah i gotta make this work and i'm slated to work for the rest of the weeks and they still haven't canceled any of my flights so i don't know what's going on but yeah we'll keep you updated it's the next yeah. day, okay, and yeah. guess who is back? Let's wait, just wait, wait to get you right there. It's waiting still. Yeah. I'm folding laundry. There he is! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's going on, Mass Gang? Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Hurricane Ian is expected to pay us a visit. Uh, I told him. Oh, you told him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we are actually on our way to the store to see if we can get stuff, if there's anything. Yeah, because <laughs> like, I've seen pictures from Jamaica and like you're seeing no breads on the sh no bread on the shelf, like any at all. In uh, Jamaica? Yeah. Cause it would have passed there to come here mm -hmm. yeah so luckily it didn't go through jamaica um but yeah we're trying to see what we can get if we can get anything yeah i honestly didn't think that it was going to be this big of a deal so i, I was kind of like playing like paying it like it wasn't gonna matter but um seems to be yeah because when you look at the projection it's like supposed to go straight through Florida and yeah. even though it might not be going straight through Orlando um, it's close enough yeah <laughs> like it's we're in the band mm -hmm. so like in the cone so. school is canceled for the next three days mm -hmm. he doesn't know if he's off work yet though which is the funny part Delta has already started canceling their fights like they, they're they've already started with spirit I should probably cut that out <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Yeah, they'll fly straight through a hurricane, but I mean, you know, we'll see. Yeah, so, we're looking on the road now and like traffic on that side, not on this side, mm -hmm. but yeah, so we're gonna see what we can get, guys. Wish us luck. <laughs> What's 
going on y'all so a little update with the hurricane uh they are sending me to work today i'm going to chicago um i guess we'll see hopefully i can get back um we have like a two hour sit and then i fly back but i'm hoping fingers crossed that i'm able to actually make it back because apparently the the hurricane is shifting and it's coming more towards orlando so we'll see i'll keep you guys posted good morning everybody mass gang so this is now tuesday today is the 27th of september um we're expecting the effects of the hurricane that's supposed to be coming to show up tonight um going into tomorrow uh brian is at work right now but thankfully we got confirmation that the orlando airport is going to be closed for the next two days so he shouldn't have worked tomorrow or thursday which you know we were kind of concerned about yesterday um yeah so while he's gone i'm just gonna be trying to make some preparations around the house do whatever little i can um we have to move some of the furniture from our patio outside inside uh the garbage can and the recycling bin um i'm doing all the laundry just in case light and water goes because i'm used to <laughs> these kinds of crises happening in jamaica and the last time a hurricane hit in jamaica which would have been hurricane ivan and this one is ian <laughs> so it's another i hurricane so already triggering um yeah we were without light for two weeks um brian says that that's not how it works up here <laughs> but you know it's better safe than sorry so if there's anything that i can catch like filtered water in um yeah i'll probably do that might not be what's required up here in the u.s but um yeah that's just what i'm used to but other than that we are making sure everything is charged and we have our backup sources as well we actually just got um a new power bank from power ad um it's supposed to be super slim and it's supposed to be fast charging one of the best things about it though is that it has the port here for the new iphones because anybody that has gotten an iphone like i think 12 up you would have known that it had like a very funny usb cord attachment because of course apple when you spend more money <laughs> and buy the new adapter but this actually has it so that's perfect so we're about to charge this up and see how well it works it couldn't have come at a better time um but yeah let's go get started on doing these things i also want to try and cook dinner today too um yeah wish us luck guys we need it but yeah i hope if there's anybody that is also affected or was affected um or if there's any impending threats from any others i hope that you guys are safe um, all our family in the Caribbean, we know that this is a norm. Um, so we hope that everybody watching has been safe and has been keeping safe and their families. So yeah, let's go get prepared. <music> Maz gang, I made it back. Um, it is now 5.49. I actually need to go get some gas before I go home. Then I gotta go get BJ. I'm supposed to go get the other, the second half of my monkeypox vaccine, but I don't know if they're still gonna be doing it. <clears throat> and then hunker down, I guess, just cook some food and hopefully that we don't lose power. I need to go get another propane. It's a lot of, it's a lot of shit I gotta do. But um, yeah. Uh, wish us luck guys i'm a little nervous because i kind of didn't take this thing serious in the beginning but now i see uh it's actually coming so i probably should have took it a little bit more serious but all is well we'll be all right we'll make it through what's going on guys <clears throat> it's the next day the rain has definitely picked up I'm walking Rossley right now. At least I was. Homeboy says screw this. 
tip. I am not standing in this frame. But this is this is what it's looking like right now. So it just looks like a rainy day. So we'll keep y'all updated. Okay. Alright. So right now, I guess it's the calm before the storm. You see everybody has parked their cars to try to make it look or make it um protect the garages and stuff. But it's picking up. I mean, we're getting squalls, rain squalls, but nothing major yet. Well, I'm sure it's coming. Look who's in the kitchen. What are you making? Um, I'm doing some curry chicken at the request of my husband. Yes. So yeah, it's basically done now. I might just add some more water so that there's a little more gravy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, not looking bad. No, not at all. He cooked earlier too, guys. So he did spaghetti and meat sauce. Mm -hmm. At least the meat sauce because we don't know if light goes, you know, everything is electric. So I'm trying to make sure we have food. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. Yeah. So we would just need to make the um, the noodles just in case. And I have a gas grill, so we can just do it on that if push comes to shove. Yeah, but we're eating good, even in the midst of, you know, uh, impending hurricane, danger. Right. <laughs> I guess I can show you guys what it looks like outside. Alright guys, this is a pretty bad shot. The lining is probably terrible, but I don't know if you can hear it. But the wind is crazy. It's now like 9 o'clock and I think it's supposed to, like the brunt of it is supposed to come by midnight, so... Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. We'll stop sign over there. Hope it don't fly away. Earlier, just a couple of hours ago, the wind gusts were not this strong. You can see right here, there's a tree where the branches have been snapped. Well, guys, we just got a flood warning. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's mirrored. But yeah, we got an emergency alert saying that a flash flood warning is in effect. And it's until 3.15 a.m. This is a dangerous and life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you're trying to flee the area. Yeah. How, how you feeling? Um, I mean, I feel okay for the mm -hmm. moment. Like, we, it hasn't been too crazy outside. Mm -hmm. it, like, rain is whipping and it's been raining consistently. But I feel safe for the moment yeah um i'm just ready for it to like blow over though yeah yeah but so far so good guys was, as you see we still have power yeah so that's a blessing that's a really good sign we have dinner cooked or meals cooked for the next two days yeah. at the most um and thank you to everybody that has reached out we've had so many people either comment or like even send us messages on instagram yeah like just checking in on us making sure that we're okay so we really really appreciate that yes thank you so much guys yeah but well, we'll keep y'all posted as the time goes on what time is it now baby it's twelve seventeen. it's twelve seventeen. so twelve seventeen a.m so it's now thursday the 29th so this we have this rain i guess until three fifteen. We have another three hours to go, so yeah. we'll keep y'all posted. It's here. It's still going. But we made it through the worst of it, so. That's a good sign, but apparently from the news, Kissimmee is like underwater. So. so I think it's safe to say that we made it through okay. We did. Yeah, the only thing that happened is that we don't have internet. 
but we still have light so we're extremely grateful mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's been um, one fatality reported though um on the road that we commonly drive on somebody decided to go look at the damage and ended up driving into like a lake because they didn't know where they were going and they drowned yeah so not great news but i mean really and truly they shouldn't have been doing that mm -hmm. yeah but we are here playing some uno doing it all style you know having some old school fun yeah i think i'm gonna go make a sandwich soon <laughs> well, i just had some okay yeah. but thank you guys again everybody who has checked in um, just want to big up David and Clinton as well as Marva on her birthday today. <laughs> yeah, but if you guys don't hear from us again right now, we're safe, we're good. But yeah, right, yeah thanks for sticking it with us. <laughs>